What's up, comic book fans? Welcome back to another rare Thrift Store comic book haul video. So what I'm going to do is show you guys my adventure at the store, and then I'm going to go to the details of the haul itself. Enjoy it. Alright, so actually the first haul is not from a thrift store, but I consider it so because it's from a local bookstore and they have mighty affordable comics. So these are from the five for a dollar section. I picked up these. There weren't too many to pick from. I just went with what my gut said. And of course, if it's a Special cover, <laughs> you know I'm going to fall for that. That's a 2099 AD Genesis. Here's a Secret Invasion Dark Rain. One shot. Bendis is the writer. One of the top writers out in the industry. And this one is a Nexus, the new color from Capital Comics number one. I don't know too much about the character Nexus. Marvel Comics, well, what's this say? It's kind of hard to read. Heroes Reborn Remnants, whoever that is. Looks like she has the claw. It's pretty weird. And this one is uh, J2, which is Juggernaut's son. Introducing a master of Jug Fu with Iron Fist, Ron Lim cover. Does he still draw comics, by the way? I haven't seen any recent stuff from him. This is J2 number two. As you know, it seems like a little bit too much going on in the cover. <laughs> I guess he's trying to sell it. Brown Lim, Tom DeFalco, Al Milgram, all, all famous uh, people from the comic book industry. And Vertical Dead Man, number two. And I picked up this uh, Wizard exclusive sketchbook of Cliffhanger number zero. Medirera, also a great artist. And this one, um, early on before Marvel became a combo in the publisher, they used to be known as Atlas Comics, I believe so. This is issue number one, Iron Jaw. This one is Everett Rutso's Razor, Cry No More. All right, so those are the 10 comics dollar for five and of course you guys seen in the earlier footage what's so special about this now at first I didn't know the significance of this issue but I just had a feeling from my mind that this one I have to check the price as it happens this is the very first appearance of Negasonic Teenage Warhead She debuted in the Deadpool movie, and I'm very fortunate to get this. It's going for a pretty upwards of $20. It's weird that, you know, New X-Men, you think is a crap comic, but actually there are two first appearances from this series, and the other one being like the new Dark Phoenix or something like that. That one, which I still have to get. All right, now we are gonna move on to the Value Village. Here is a sneak preview. All right, what's up, guys? I'm at Value Village. Here's some more comic book section. I'm gonna skim through these. Hopefully, I can find some gems. Oh, wait a minute, this, I remember 
this being something special? I think this is the first appearance of the Wolverine Hulk hybrid H22. It's worth like $20 on eBay. Got some comic packs right here. All right, guys. So from all of the comics that I looked through at Value Village, including the grab bags, um, the box of comics setting out by their um, stand, you know where they have all the high value stuff. And also in the back of the books, I couldn't find anything that's worth buying except for this one. What's so special about this? I know Exiles is a crap series, but this one is a must have because if you look carefully on the cover, what do all these characters have? The surrounding Exiles. Everybody has claws, right? A lot of these Wolverine knockoffs. And so, as it happens, this is the first appearance of H, Batch H, which is supposed to be. The Hulk with the Wolverine Claw. So that's his first appearance. And here is a sample from the comic. So yeah, this one is going on eBay for again, something like 15 to $20. So I'm lucky to get that. Now we're gonna move on to the, another value village haul. So enjoy the preview. All right, what's up, guys? We are Value Village. Let's go ahead and check out their comic book section. Looks like they have some good stuff. Got some Saga number one in this first. I'll grab that. Some old cone on here too. Put it on. Just trying to see this cone on. Number Alright, guys, as you guys saw, it wasn't too much going on at Value Village, and that's the one closer to my house. This one, of course, was Saga. I'm a huge fan of Saga. I am following the series online and it's spectacular Fiona Stables and Brian Vaughn. Perfect combination. This is the image first. So now that I have the first saga, even though it's a fifth print in this image first issue, that is a pretty nice collection set in there. And I at the value village is each comic is 99 cents. You buy five, I buy four, you get one free, which goes the same with the books. Now this is an early on Conan Anima 46. Back then it was a 25 cent issue. I believe this is like the 1970s. So this is quite old guys. Look at this, 1975. There you go, January. All right. And here's another early on issue. Look at that, even cheaper, 20 cents. Can you imagine? Comics were so cheap back then. Now it's like 3.99, 4.95. Shoot. And here is Justice League of America number 52 with uh, the special 
Um, there are a whole bunch of variants, like one for each state with a special flag insignia. And we're going to finish off this haul with Conan and the Barbarian number one. I believe this is the second volume. This was back in the early 90s. Well, that's it, guys. It was, oh, I forgot to mention. Yeah. Also, at that, um, at the Valley Village, where I got, where I got that, uh, Exiles, I bought this, The Rising, which is part of the Left Behind series. I used to read these. I used to be a huge fan of Left Behind series. Great book. I'm reading it right now from Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. Go ahead and check them out. And go ahead and check me out. Click on the subscribe button so you can stay tuned with me for exciting food and product reviews and awesome comic book hauls. Hey guys, take care of yourselves. Happy collecting.